Hey guys, I wanted to show you a really easy way you can disable your on-screen navigation buttons but keep your status bar so you still have access to your notifications and your quick toggles. All you're going to need is an app called GMD Hide My Soft Keys. It's available for free in the Play Store, you can see it right here, and of course it does require root. Now, it's from the same team that does the GMD gesture controls and if you have that app it does actually integrate with that, so it's uh, pretty cool. So right now this app only supports all the, well it supports all the Nexus devices and the Sony Xperia Z but I'm sure more will be supported soon. So all you need to do is open up the app and you'll see it's a very simple uh, UI. You can also purchase the pro version, it gives you a few more options as well. But this is what we're looking for, hide soft keys. So you can turn it on, you'll see the soft keys disappear, I didn't need to reboot or anything and I still have my uh, status bar up here so I still have access to that which is pretty awesome. You've also got some other options here like spoof soft keys, notification which gives you a persistent notification where you can turn the uh, soft keys on and off just by switching that button right there. And you've got navigation where right now it's quick bar which I'll show you in a minute and you can turn it to no or none I should say if you've got the pro version. Now this uh, quick bar is where this little red thing is down here, you can see this trigger area. You can bring your nav bar back up by swiping up from this area and you can see there's your nav bar. And you can just use this as normal and once it's done, once you've used a button, it will either stay there if you want to time it out or it will disappear depending on how you have your settings. So you can access that from wherever you are. You can see it will stay there until I actually use it and once I use it, it will disappear. So you've got a load of options in the actual app here. You can see trigger visible, that's that red bar. You have to have that if you're using the free version. You can only turn it off if you've got the pro version. Other than that, you can mess around with the width. You can see I'm changing the uh, width of it right here. So you can have it really big or really small. You can also change the uh, trigger position. You can have it in the middle and the size of it. So how well it kind of finds your finger sort of thing is uh, dependent on the trigger size. So we'll just make it a little bit bigger. You've also got auto hide so you can have you know when you press the home button it'll hide if you don't want it to if you don't want it to hide when you press the home button you can untick that you've also got hide delay this is what i was talking about you can have eight seconds one second all the way up to eight all the way up to all the way up to ten sorry i've got it on one second and you can also have the uh, nav bar transparency so you can kind of make it more transparent we'll put it at 80 percent you can see it's got a more transparent look which is kind of cool i kind of like that so yeah also mess around with the size so you can change the dp so you can have it quite big when you pull it up you can see it's kind of a massive bar now so you've got a lot of customization on this app and let me just make this a bit smaller quickly and let's get out of here and i'll show you something else that's quite cool you can all you can also see this other button here which i didn't know what it did for a while until i actually pressed it and if you press it, you'll notice my status bar disappear. So you get an absolute full screen effect. It's really easy to access. You can just use that button to toggle it on and off. And it's really simple and a really effective way to get rid of all the buttons and the status bar or just the nav bar and keep your status bar. So yeah, that's the GMD Hide Softkeys app. Peace out.